Howdy. So, uh, I sent her my uh, maple syrup video from this week. Um, tapping in the trees and all that stuff. Uh, one of the projects I wanted to get done uh, this week during the uh, midweek was to take a little bit of last year's maple syrup and uh, try making some candy. Um, so, just getting started now. I like the, it's but the simplest recipe in the whole wide world. All you need is maple syrup, candy thermometer, and uh, a pan. Um, so I have uh, a little over a gallon uh, and a quarter here. Um, I'm going to pour it in this double pan here and hopefully be able to run two burners at a time to get the temperature up faster. Uh, all you do is dump it in, get the temperature at 235 degrees, and uh, then you're golden. So let's, um, let me take care of this right now, dump it all in there, get it going. Um, there's not really much to watch, so I probably won't bring you all back until it, uh, it's good and boiling. Um, you do have to stir it, keep it going where well, it's, um, while it's boiling so you don't scorch the bottom. But that's about it. So, we can all of our maple syrup in jars. And other than a couple that we lost, which were in jars like this, which are reused, other types of jars, uh, all of these made through the air. Let me see here. Okay, very good. So, we pour it in. Got the boiling up. Good stuff. I'll pour a couple of these in here and get it going. Both burners going, and let me fix the water up. And now I'm going to pour, uh, pour a gallon in, probably, and leave it at that. And while it's boiling, I'll hunt down in my basement. For uh, some candy molds that my wife has for doing chocolates. I think I'll use those for making the candies. Uh, if the snow is cleaner, I've seen videos where people just dump it right in the snow and use that shape that it gets uh, for, for the candies. But our snow is looking pretty gross right about now.
right under 230 right now. It uh, it goes from you know just an inch to this in about a second if you leave. And you're gonna kind of tweak the heat a little bit then. Okay, we're at 235 right now, so I am going to turn the heat off and let this cool down to 180. At 180, we'll whip it. Okay. You're just under 180 now, so now I stir it up, according to what I've read, for about five minutes until it turns to a white, creamy consistency.
set. I have some that are really full, some that are a little bit full, and then in the back here I have the candy pieces. I'm just going to take a dribble piece on the top here and save these to cool off a bit more. These have been cooling about half an hour while I did the dishes and cleaned up. So let's see. Mmm, very good. I do say so myself. mixing it at the end, I didn't know, I've never done this before, quite how it was going to turn out. <laughs> so I was um, a bit worried when it wasn't, when it was so black at the end. But it, uh, it turned into a nice you know, maple syrup candy color um, after about 10 minutes for a gallon. The instructions said 5 minutes, but they were using much less than I was. Um, I still have a half a gallon at least left. I'm going to give some to my dad and a friend of ours in Malibu pint for us um, until we get our next batch in. Uh, we still have some in the fridge too. So yeah, this is maple syrup candies. This was a gallon of all of these. Um, and at the end it was really uh, solidifying quickly. Um, I also dumped a pile of it right up on here because I ran out of places to put it. If I was just using candy molds, I would have needed hundreds of candy molds. And I also probably would need to keep the pot a little warmer to keep it from solidifying while I was working. So I'm going to let these sit out here on the counter overnight. I'm bringing them to the fire hall tomorrow night for drill. I promised people maple syrup candy, and I didn't want to eat all this myself. There's about a billion calories here. Um, so. Mm, very, very good. So, until next time, thanks for watching.